Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Rob Squad and the Creators. As always, we are super excited to be here today with an awesome, awesome guest. But before we get to that, as always, you are here with your boy Jay. Hey y'all, you're also here with girl Amber. Now, before I mention our brilliant guest today, let us first start out by saying that he should have won Dancing with the Stars last year. But mm, that aside, he is a that. Grammy winner. He's a Teen Choice winner, People's Choice winner, among many others. And his music, it, it uplifts and it transforms. So we are really, really lucky to welcome Mr. Jason Mraz to RSA TC. Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much, Rob Squad and the creators. Thanks so much. This is actually also something new for the channel. A lot of times we don't go into the this um, Rob Squad creators knowing too much about mm. the artist. Now, I'm actually a really big fan, so I'm going to try to like hold my composure. But I loved your songs from songs like um, Remedy. <laughs> And when you sung the song Have It All, it came out when I was becoming a mother. And so oh. like it meant so much to me because it's kind of like how I it's kind of what I wish for my children. Mm. So your music means a lot to me. I think it's so incredibly beautiful. So this is such an honor. And I was already written for you with Dance of the Stars, but I had no idea that we'd ever get the honor to actually get to speak with you. No, I'll say when that email came through, we were like, <laughs> are, are you serious? So it was, it, it was shocking for sure. Wow. Well, thank you for all of that kindness and flattery. Um, on the music front, I've always tried to make songs with purpose so that when I'm out there in the world asking for people's time and attention as I play songs, I want to make sure that I'm delivering something that's that's that has meaning, you know, not just to yeah. me, but maybe it even lands in your household, in your headphones, in a way that helps you um, enhance the soundtrack to your life as, yeah. you know, you choose is you choose from thousands of songs to listen to, uh, as mine comes across for those three minutes, I just want to continue the motivation and the inspiration for gratitude. You know, that's, yes. that's kind of always been my driving force. And then in dancing, um, I had to practice that gratitude myself because that was a hard gig. <laughs> Uh, but I was so lucky to be there and learn from some of the best and be pushed and challenged because when I was a younger kid dancing when it got hard i just walked out the door you know and in this show last year i i i had to show up and, and be there for my partner and i'm so glad i did it because I'm more confident now on stage than I've ever been. So I wish I could oh, go back yeah. and do it all over again. I can imagine the nerves of just having to go out there and dance in front of a million people with the spotlight on you. Um, oh, my I, God. I would have been a nervous wreck. Yeah, I was every week. Um, if, if you ever come across a rerun, it's the early part of the season, my mouth is hanging open so wide because I'm just trying to breathe. <laughs> I'm so nervous. My heart is racing so fast that yeah. I, and by the end, I'm a little more comfortable, but uh, what a rush. I just wanted to ask you, like, some of your uh, musical influences, you know, I, I know, and I'm yours because I've heard it, like, you, you, it seems like you get, like, some little, like, reggae parts in there, like, some scat in there. So I, right. I just kind of want to know, like, who, who are your musical influences? Oh, gosh. Um, I mean, I'm all over the place. Because I had so many different um, households that I grew up in. Uh, my stepdad was a jazz drummer, so he was listening to jazz and, and older music like Nat King Cole Trio. My mom was into pop music. Uh, and singers. My dad was into rhythm and blues and um, soul. My uh, stepmom, same, but a little more modern soul, like Lionel Richie and uh, mm -hmm. Commodores. And That's why I'm easy. So 
So I kind of took all of those things and found that I wanted to create pop with rhythm. And that was good for me when I showed up at a coffee shop with my guitar. I couldn't help but write um, uh, what was in my heart and how, you know, trying to adapt to the world and understand what the world's all about. But also at the same time, throw in some elements that sound classic, like, uh, so I would scat to sort of mimic horn parts. And I would scat to, because I was alone most of the time when I first started playing. So I needed to find a rhythm in my in my guitar, and I needed to find some kind of swing and soul in my voice. So would scat be like something that probably wasn't being done as much during the time that that you were doing it? Correct. That's a that's an older mm. part of music, right? It is. Yeah, it's an old music. It's a way singers would um, uh, uh, would mimic a, a horn instrument, you know, mm -hmm. saxophone, trumpet. And I did it because I wasn't playing guitar solos and I was all by myself. And so I was filling time with scat and also scat and mumbling would become lyrics eventually. So scat was, would oftentimes be where I would start an idea, but sometimes that scat would just stay inside the song for mm -hmm. forever. We hear you got a song for us today. Uh, you know, we, we've heard, uh, obviously, an amazing song. Um, yours, we hear you got a, a another version of it for us. So, yeah, I've performed I'm Yours probably, um, uh, I'm going to have to say 10,000 times. I mean, it's it might be more. It might be more than that. And when I originally wrote it, it was almost improvised. I wrote the song very quickly. And that improvised version became the version I would perform for many, many, many years. And over the years of playing it live, it evolved. It slowed down. Some of the lyrics changed. It became even sweeter, a little less um, trying to get your attention and um and a little more now that I have your attention. Yeah. Uh, so we made uh, what I like to think of as more of like a um, uh, bedroom version of I'm Yours uh, for a, or an anniversary version because there's many people yeah. that got married to the song um, mm -hmm. or engaged or dated to the song. And 15 years later, I made a version called I'm Yours Deluxe. And uh, that's what we're going to be listening to. It's a, it's a little bit more of a smooth version. Oh, I'm so pumped I'm to hear sorry, this yeah. one. Thank you again so much for being here and bringing this song. Let's check this out. I'm, I'm pumped up for it. A deluxe smooth. All right, you guys, don't forget to like the video. Hit subscribe. Let's check this bad boy out. Let's get it. But you're so hot that I melted I fell right through the cracks And I'm trying to get back Before the crew done run up I'll be giving it my best There's nothing gonna stop me But divine intervention I reckon it's again my turn To win some more Learn some When I
sticking my tongue oh. in the mirror Bending this over so backwards just to try to see it clearer But my breath fogged up the glass So I drew a new face and I laughed I guess what I'm saying is there ain't no better reason To rid yourself of vanity and just go with the seasons It's what we aim to do Our name is our virtue That sax was killer. That, that sax. was killer. So in, instead of scatting the outro, I actually finally got a sax player to yeah. actually <laughs> do it. Do it right. <laughs> and, and right there at the end, like the way he was making like the sax sound, it, it gave, gave you like that dark walking down the New York street type of mm. night. Like overall, the, the overall song, it gave me like such like the R, rhythm R and B, but at the same time, mm-hmm. like certain seg- certain sections felt like it was like some like what we call it blue eyed soul. It, uh-huh. yeah, it was so soulful. I I loved the the heaviness of the bass that was like added into mm-hmm. this one, and mm-hmm. I love how you told us beforehand that like this is a song that you know people were falling in love to and mm-hmm. getting married to, and now fifteen years later, this song has evolved into a different version, and I love it because it felt more intimate. It felt like the what these people fell in love to at the beginning, what their relationship would have evolved into, the more intimate mm. side of it. You mentioned that the word, you said some of the lyrics changed as well. Mm-hmm. Was one of those, um, love is your virtue, did you change it to name, our name is our virtue? Is name is our mean? virtue was in the original, but I also in the original would say, um, it's our God forsaken right to be loved. Yes. And that was that was me turning a phrase because I remember hearing that phrase when I was a kid. I was like, what in God forsaken this, that, the other. <laughs> and, and, and 15 years ago, I, I really didn't understand the true meaning of that line, but I sang it anyway. And it's our God forsaken right to be loved, love, 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 love. And years, over the years, I actually turned it into it's our God intended right to be loved. Just assuming that if there is a creator, then it's in, it's the creative intention is for us to love, which is what yeah. actually propels creativity and creation itself. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I don't know what it was. It may have been like a, a guitar, but it sounded like a guitar with like extra whammy bar on it. That uh-huh. it, it had some had some twang to it. I yeah. thought it was really cool in the beginning of the song. I, I, I love the original. The original is, it's the classic, but man, this one just, it had a whole different it grabs too. you in a different like, way. The other one is joyous, mm, and, yeah. and it definitely makes you think of the beauty and positive side of that. And then in this one, this one was like take your it, time. You, you, it's like you truly appreciate the beauty. You've taken you've taken the time, and the song took more time too. And it was 
smooth and soulful. So it, it, it definitely awesome. added, added so much. I thought it was beautiful. It, we like to go kayaking down the river. That so, this version is going mm. on that playlist. Just nice. chill, relax. Nice. I was very much inspired by Sade. I don't know if you know her music. So I was yes. going for a Sade vibe on this. And it's and it's part of an album, uh, a reggae album that I made in 2020 called Look for the Good. And so it's very drum and bass heavy, which is, you had mentioned you like the bass on that. So the whole record is really solid drum and bass. That's really cool knowing that, that Sade kind of like had a little bit, because because I've loved discovering her. She's an artist that we've been introduced to on the channel from the subscribers, you know, our, our, our family members just... Tell us to check her out. Her music is so soulful. It's so beautiful. So yeah, I can so see deep. like the, the the rhythm in it that you have. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's cool. Really cool. Well, Jason, thank you so much for coming and hanging out with us today and bringing us this version of I'm Yours. Uh, again, it's definitely going on the good old playlist. Before we let uh, you go today, is there anything that you'd like to uh, let the RSR family know? Anything coming up? Uh, I, you know, I'm just still grateful to be on planet earth. Thank you for listening. Uh, thanks for giving me the opportunity to be on your show. And no doubt, uh, any tours, uh, coming up soon? Yes. Good. Thank you. You are, uh, you are dialed in. I am touring this summer, um, 2024 from the end of June through mid August across the United States from Maine back to San Diego. Uh, I don't think we're coming through Oklahoma city, but we will be, uh, Hopefully within Texas? no, no Texas because that was last summer. This we're on the second leg of our tour right now, and we're playing oh, yeah. playing cities that we didn't play last year. So last year we did happen to go through Texas. Uh, this year we're going to be it more New sucks. England up through the north and then down the west coast. Okay, well, That's a we good will summer de- concert. Hey, that no, would be that would be awesome. <laughs> we will drop a description tour dates down uh, down below. Again, appreciate you so, so much for coming on and hanging out with us today. My pleasure. Thanks so much. As we always send you guys out of here every single day, we love you. We thank you. We appreciate you. Remember, every day that you guys wake up, it is truly a blessing and that y'all are blessed to see another one. And for your new family members that hit that subscribe button down below, we welcome you guys to the RSR family. But y'all will go every day just like we do. Let them know, Ma. All right, y'all. Today, as a collective, we can spread so much light. We can spread so much love by putting our best foot forward, going out in this world. And if we can, just try to make somebody smile. Rather, that's a compliment or just acknowledging them. It goes a very long way. We love y'all. Till next time. See you guys later. Bye.